when you're hiring, what do you look for and how do you retain your staff? These days, we when we look at a CV or a person's set of experiences, we're looking less at that linear career path, right? So you're yeah. take the CFO. If we're, if we're interviewing for a CFO, we would want to see some finance experience, but we wouldn't necessarily look for that linear path of all of the different parts of finance um because i have certainly not done that um what we're looking for more is the critical experiences that would get you there um and build you the the skill set and the leadership capability to to do a big role like that yeah i mean i i agree with you in the sense that you know out of i mean i've calculated it's about 45 profiles i've placed with you guys over the last eight years or so as we've gone along it's not just been about raw analytical capability you know it's not just about modeling metrics analysis about the capability of having both the iq and the eq to bring that to life and land it with real life people where people will understand it from a simplistic fashion and and you mentioned the eq as well which i think is really important so when you're interviewing for a role um with anyone you want to test the culture and that's another thing that that we will really look for particularly yeah. in the more senior roles so much of what we do, and a you know, huge part, at least 50% of my job is about people management and interacting with people to get things done through the business. So you have to do that within the culture that exists, in yeah. my case, in PepsiCo. And that might not be the same as, as with another business or, um, or where you've come from previously. So I think testing your fit for that, and it's two-way, it, yeah. it is really important. 